Hi, Robert Plank here. And don't you hate this screen? You go in and if you use this tool called WordPress, what's great about it is you can update your site and your plugins. The problem though is that depending on your web host, you might always be running across this freaking thing, right? Every time you go to update WordPress itself, or update a plugin, it asks you for your username and password. Well, I want to introduce you to a tool called Website Remote, which allows you to remotely one-click log into your WordPress sites, but it also allows you to store on your own server the FTP password so that you don't have to keep entering it again and again. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, this is a tool, a free tool called WordPress. We go into our dashboard, we can add in content and things like that. We go to click on updates and we go to update our WordPress site to a newer version or update some plugins. So you might update this one plugin I'm like, okay, well, I just want to update just this one plugin for now. Click on update plugins and every time we go to update a plugin, it asks us for this kind of information. So that's no fun, right? Uh, and so what we can do is install this plugin called Website Remote, which will allow us to not only update WordPress remotely, update our plugins remotely, and update all of our WordPress sites, whether we have 1, 10, 100, or 1,000 all remotely, but we also don't have to enter in those details every single time. So what we can do is go to click on Login, let me just close the other tabs. I'm logging to into my website remote dashboard where I can see all of the WordPress sites I'm currently managing. Give it a second to refresh everything. So right now I'm managing these six sites. I want to add my robertplank.com site. So I'm going to enter in robertplank.com. And so now that's a list of one of the sites that we want to manage. And it'll go out and ping that site. But what we'll discover is that, see, there's this uh, message here that the website remote plugin is not installed. No big deal. We'll just right click and download the plugin, save link as, save it to our desktop right here. Then we'll click on install and this will allow us to log into our site. Cool, we're already logged in and we're going to click on upload plugin. And then once that, whoops, we do have to log in actually. So let's log in again. And we're already there. So we just to make sure we're on the same page, we have plugins, add new, upload plugin. So plugins, add new, upload plugin. And then we click choose file. And then we browse on our desktop to the file we just saved, this uh, website remote file that we just saved. Click install now. And then this is the last time we're going to have to enter in our FTP details. So let me paste that right in there. And now the plugin's on there. Now we've activated the plugin. So that's the first step here is that now uh, we can update our, our stuff using website remote. So all we have to do is just attempt to update one of our uh, one of our plugins and website remote will give us a little bit of a warning message. Uh, and uh, and then once we get the warning message, we'll be able to enter in our FTP username and password for the very last time, and it will store that FTP information. This is important, not on our sites, but on your site. So you don't have to worry about us, you know, getting into your stuff. So we go to plugin updates, Robert Plank, and this is the plugin I was going to update, this backup creator plugin. So I go to click on update and let it run its thing and uh, it should fail on us. It should not work. Here we go. The site Robert Plank is set to ask for your FTP username and password every time you update it remotely. If you don't know what this information is, you get it from your web host. And this is usually when you set up your web hosting account, your control panel username and password. We click on enter your FTP details in the site settings. And we go and see here we go FTP error FTP hosting was required. We just go and paste in uh, these four things: the username that we used to uh, log into our cPanel, uh, the password, and then the hosting, which is usually the name of our website itself. So I'm going to go and just type that in for the very last time. So we'll go FTP username is that one. The password, I'm going to paste that in. The password, I'm going to paste that in. And then the host name is robertplank.com. Save those changes there. And then it will go and verify. And then, cool, website information saved. So you see, we still don't have that information, but now it has been loaded onto your WordPress site. And let me show you what will happen now. So now we go to uh, refresh our sites. We go and check out the updates for robertplank.com 
and we want to update backup creator so we click on that button and then let it run let it do its thing and in a couple of seconds now the upgrade has succeeded okay now that's disappeared and now if we go to our um, our plugins for robertplank.com I should see that backup creator is not on the list and what I can do as well is I can look at my list of sites here right and I can log in to my WordPress dashboard even if I've logged out or I forgot the password I can go Robert Plank log into that site even if I'm logged out this logs me back in because we have website remote installed and we'll go to check out our plugins we'll go to our updates and when this loads here, well, you see that we used to have the backup creator uh, message here, but now that particular plugin has been updated. So let's update uh, this next plugin, this PowerPress plugin for podcasting. Now, remember before when I went to update any plugin on my site, it would ask me for my FTP details. Well, now because we've installed website remote, now that is all stored. Uh, on, on this site. And in fact, if we go and check out our website remote area, we can see here that we have locally stored the FTP username and password. And if we want to ever erase it for whatever reason, we can click on that button and uh, it'll reset it back to normal. But for now, oh cool, the FTP details uh, are stored for us so we don't have to re-enter those every time we want to update a plugin. So we go back to the updates and I'm going to update this Blueberry PowerPress plugin. So all I'm doing is I'm checking the box, I'm clicking on update plugins, and if all goes well, it should just go out and update the plugin. Notice how it's not asking us at all for our FTP details. So if you're running a WordPress blog and you come across that problem where it's always asking you for your FTP username and password, you can just install Website Remote and then you can go to your dashboard here and you can go to settings and then the website that you want to adjust the settings for. So in this case, settings robertplank.com and on this settings page, this is where you can fill out your FTP details, or update them here or things like that. And then when you update a plugin, then it will um, it will no longer ask you every single time. And once again, if we want to remove those FTP details, we can go to tools, website, remote, erase the FTP information. Now that's erased. And now when we go to update something, so I'll go back to my updates and I will update uh, this organize series plugin, update that. And then now it asks us for this information again. So what we can do is go back to settings, go and say, here's my username, here's my password, and then here's my host name again. And website remote goes and hits your site with that information. And now when we go to update something, then we can go and update everything or all plugins on the blog, click update plugins. And now the website remote has saved your FTP details. Doesn't matter if you're updating WordPress itself, updating your themes, updating a bunch of plugins. Uh, it now has saved your FTP information on your site. So website remote is the place where uh, you can get that problem fixed. You get an account at Website Remote by going to the bottom of the page, uh, you log in, you add your WordPress sites, and now you can not only see the status of your WordPress sites and plugins, you can update your WordPress sites, and you can do lots of little time savers, such as storing the FTP details of your WordPress site on the site itself. That way it doesn't keep asking you to log in every single time. I'm Robert Plank from Website Remote, and thank you.